Hey guys, I have something different today to show you. I got this from Painting for Peace in Ferguson. Um, it's a special little um, thing that they're doing. Uh, Miss Carolyn Klein sent this to me. Um, this book was inspired by what happened in Ferguson. Everybody knows what happened in Ferguson. And this story, um, this coloring book, inspired artists to uh, work on this coloring book. And it's based on actual street murals created in Ferguson and includes moving stories about the art from artists. Profits donated to youth, art, and small business in the community. There's 45 illustrations, large and small, detailed and simple. There's three bookmarks. There's one, connect the dot, and it says it's the number one ranking coloring book in adult bestsellers on St. Louis indie bestselling coloring book list. It is a really beautiful book. It shows you um, a couple of the pages on the back. It is from Carol Klein. I'm not going to try to pronounce your middle name. Robert O'Neill. Okay. I like that right here they show you um, some of the original artists that painted murals in Ferguson and in St. Louis. And then they took their original pictures and made um, coloring book pages out of them. So let's just flip it real quick and it gives you a story about what happened in Ferguson uh, you know I won't go into all the details um, right here it basically tells you that the author and Ferguson native Carol Klein was inspired when artists and volunteers of all ages races backgrounds came together to support the community in a very very difficult time by creating hundreds of hopeful challenging and beautiful paintings on boarded up windows throughout the city this resulted in the 2015 publication of the award-winning children's storybook painting for peace in ferguson that has been acclaimed by must-have reviewers critics teachers and parents alike i really like this i think this is amazing that they did this all right and it's really pretty how they put a quote over here and then they have like one of the artist pictures over here it's just really really nice it's real high quality paper the paper's nice you can use your markers you you'll lose the quote but you can use your markers on this this is one of my favorite pages I'll probably do this one next I just started on one I just think it's great that local artists came around and and were inspired and put these up You can draw your own right here. Where's the dot to dot? Look at this beautiful mandala. City Hall. This is the one I started. Yeah, I used uh, alcohol markers, so it did go through, but that's okay. Shalom. I love all the different peace symbols inside. The hand makes something beautiful. The paint cans are so cool I love how they're incorporated the designs on the sticks and the paintbrush and even dripping down the can And then right here, story about um, the art and it's all told by the artists themselves, which is really great. I won't read them all, but they're really nice. 
Right here are some bookmarks, and you can share them. You can color both sides. There's a quote on the back. And here are some more of the original pictures. This is the one that I was working on. And these are all the other ones up on the windows and all. Really, really nice. Great book. Great cause um, for a very difficult time. Um, I hope you go and check it out. I'll post a link of where you can get this from. I just really like how the community uh, came together, the artists, to give the community hope. You know, um, like Miss Carol said, they, 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 they wanted to give Ferguson some hope and, you know, to get through that time. So they created this, and I, I just think it was really, really wonderful.